Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to be doing a little makeover on this Art Deco waterfall dresser that I found at the thrift store for $19.99. It's in pretty good condition, there's a few ring stains on the top and minor chips and scratches throughout, but we'll see what we can do to clean it up. My plan here is to paint the outside parts black, but I'm going to stain the drawers and the top. I really like the veneer design, so I wanted to save that aspect of the dresser. I ran into my first issue. Uh, the bottom drawer wouldn't come out easily, so I rubbed some wax on and I just had to play around with it for a little bit. I finally got it out after some time. There was a crack in it, so I just filled it up with some wood glue, just so it wouldn't fall apart on me. I'm going to use wood stripper, but first I wanted to do a light sand just to help it out a little bit. I applied a nice amount of stripper and I'm using a cheap foam brush just to rub it all over the top. I do the same process for the drawers as well. A light sand and then wipe it off and then put some stripper on. After waiting a half hour, I began scraping it off and I realized it didn't come off very well, so I knew from there uh, we were going to need to do another coat of stripper. I did pour some mineral spirits on and use some steel wool just to clean up what was already gooped up on top. After scraping everything up with the mineral spirits and the steel wool, there was still some leftover top coat remaining, so I knew I had to do another coat of stripping to try to get it off. I'll be honest, this project was pretty difficult getting this old stuff off. <clears throat> this time I left the stripper on a little bit longer and I put a bag over it just so it wouldn't dry out on me. Uh, let's see how it works. So a tiny bit more came off when I scraped it up again and then I poured mineral spirits again and just scrubbed with steel wool and it helped take a lot off but it still looked pretty blotchy and that was the difficult part about this project. I had some issues with removing this old top coat. I tried scraping it and then I sanded it for a while and I eventually got it down to a point where I said this is enough. <laughs> It was pretty blotchy, but I had some plans to fix it up later on. So I decided to move on to sanding where I'm going to be painting this project black. Sanding is just going to help the paint stick on better and it's going to make it a flat surface. When I was done sanding, I just grabbed my rag and I wiped everything clean. Now I'm using some painter's tape. I'm just going to tape around the edges where I don't want the black paint to get on. So since I'm staining the top, I'm just going to tape around these edges here. And if you guys like this video and like furniture refinishing projects, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there's lots more refinishing projects coming your way. Thanks, let's get back to the video. I wanted to prime the surface first. I didn't have any gray on me because typically when you're painting with black paint, you can use the darkest color you have, but I had some leftover white spray paint, so I used that to prime the project. And I grabbed my 220 grit sanding sponge just to give it a quick sand before starting painting it black. I'm using a paintbrush to apply this paint. Make sure the brush is decent quality. You don't want the pieces of the brush falling off into your paint. That, that can get pretty annoying.
Don't worry if you can still see white paint under on the first coat because we're going to put three coats of black paint on the project. The black paint I'm using is called Totally Black and it's a bare paint from Home Depot. This is the paint I use in my video called How to Paint Furniture Black. It's just a totally black paint and it's perfect. So this is what it looks like after the first coat of paint. We're going to take the sanding sponge 220. We're just going to do a light sand throughout and if you see any issues with the paint dripping or any marks, or sand it down. After sanding any imperfections, just take a lint-free cloth and clean up all the dust just so we don't have any issues on our next coat of paint. When everything's clean, throw on the next coat. Following the same steps after the second coat of paint, I grabbed my sanding sponge and I started sanding things down just to make sure everything would be smooth before we put on that final coat. Finally, let's throw on the third and our final coat of black paint. After this coat, we don't need to sand because we already sanded between each step, so it should be pretty smooth. Here's what it looks like after our three coats of black paint. It's looking pretty smooth and it will be ready for a top coat of lacquer in a bit. Now it's time to remove this tape and cardboard covering the top so we can get staining and finishing off this project. The tape did a pretty good job keeping the black paint off but I usually just grab a piece of sandpaper and sand down the corner one more time. Removing the tape is a patience game, so just take your time, and if you do peel up any paint, don't worry, you can always touch it up later. So here, the paint was connected pretty good with the tape, so I just grabbed a utility knife and cut it down just so it was easier to peel off. So if you did peel any paint up like I did, and you can see the white pretty easy, I just grabbed a piece of tape again and placed it down and paint it over and just peel the paint tape up right away before the paint dries. Alright, so I'm going to use some wood conditioner because I was having some major issues on the veneer, on the drawers and even the top. Uh, it was pretty blotchy and uh, I was hoping that when I applied the stain and everything that we would fix up the issue. So I did record the hours of trying to remove the old top coat. I sanded, I 
tried different scraping methods that I haven't tried before, which was pretty cool. And I stripped multiple times, but I couldn't get everything off. But it wasn't that noticeable. You can't really tell on video, but in certain lighting, you can see the, the leftover top coat. But anyways, first this is me just wiping down the drawers with mineral spirits before applying some wood conditioner. I was hoping the wood conditioner would help with any blotching in the staining process. So here I'm applying the wood conditioner with a cheap foam brush. I just left it on for a couple minutes, then wiped it, and then uh, waited until it was completely dry before starting to stain. Instead of watching me do it to all the drawers, here's just a fast forwarding of applying mineral spirits and then the wood conditioner. After letting the wood conditioner sit for a couple minutes, just wipe it off with a clean rag. And then I did the same steps on the top of the dresser. I let the conditioner penetrate into the wood for 30 minutes, that's what's recommended, and then I applied a stain called Early American, but I didn't really like that stain. The color that came out was not something I wanted, it didn't match well, so I decided to go darker, so I used Minwax Ebony. Since I already conditioned and stained this wood, I knew that it, this stain wouldn't penetrate in very well, so I loaded it on the drawers and the top to see what would happen. Here's the process. Here's how much stain I applied on top of the dresser, but I realized when I was wiping it off, when I finished, uh, my camera said the memory card was full, so I didn't get the process of me wiping it off, but here's what it looks like after I wiped it off. After letting the stain dry overnight, I prepared and grabbed my lacquer, and it's time to spray on the top coat. I am going to be spraying on four total coats of lacquer for extra durability. After four coats of lacquer with light sanding with 220 grit in between, I decided I'm going to paint the handles black on the inside of the drawers. This took three coats of applying black paint on the handles, and when that was dry, I just sprayed a light coat of lacquer over the top of it for durability. Okay, let's take a look at this old Art Deco waterfall dresser one more time before we fully refinish the entire piece. Here's what it looks like after. This is my first time doing a project like this. So the drawers came out a little blotchy, but overall I'm happy with the project and how it turned out. If you like these kinds of videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Thanks for watching.